Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Antoine and welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we have an iPhone 7 model A1660 that uh, has no more than firmware and you cannot make any phone calls on it. It's a typical issue on the model A1660 because it has a Qualcomm modem and this uh, particular uh, phone has been already in another service and I'm going to open it and see what's uh, happening inside and what they already done in this uh, phone but uh, I'm gonna first diagnose the problem and uh, hopefully it's uh, not a shorted modem because it uh, has uh, the iPhone 7 A1660 with uh, all Qualcomm modems have a lot of shorted modems so let's get to it hey guys let's open the uh, programs in SW to see the board view on the iPhone 7 and check and measure the uh, capacitors on diode mode. See if they sh if they short to be to be main. No, here we are. Uh, pick the one the OLD09 and PP0V9, PP1V2, 125 underscore SMP S2 and goes to the baseband those are the four uh, important capacitors that you have to um, measure and uh, to see if the modem is short to the ground or not okay guys we have removed the board and as you can see a lot of nastiness uh, already been done by the other servers um, I guess they put a lot of flux under the uh, PMU baseband and they just preheated it uh, they thought that will uh, solve the problem and uh, you see at the beginning of the video that the shield uh, uh, that protect the processor and uh, the, the processor and the baseband CPU has also removed but the baseband is okay so now we are going to measure uh, the ground of uh, each capacitor with my multimeter which I'm going to measure it in diode mode let's begin here we are PP ECC main PP1 the uh, 2.25 SMP S2 not shorted uh, PP0 V9 LD03 is also not shorted the uh, PP1 V8 LD07 is not shorted and PP1 V0 SMP S5 also not shorted so in this case uh, we have a not shorted basement okay uh, now we are going to remove the PMU baseband uh, Qualcomm PMU and I'm going to see what underneath the IC. My guess is, like I said, uh, they just put a lot of flux and preheated the IC. Uh, it's not that big a deal. It, uh, it's like a common problem in the iPhone 7s. Uh, could it be a shorted baseband or could it be the PMU baseband? You have to uh, replace it. Replace it and not just do a reboot or preheat. Now, uh, after I uh, finish cleaning up all the pads, I'm going to measure every pad uh, for the PMU baseband, and I'm also going to put a photo uh, including all the diet values uh, for every pad for the PMU. So, uh, let's get going. Okay, now after we remove the IC, we are going to measure the resistance value of every pad. As you can see in front of you on the screen, uh, this is a photo uh, for every resistance value of every pad for the PMU baseband for Qualcomm. I'll put this photo in a link so you can download it down in the description. And also you can check out my previous video for download all the schematics for every iPhone and iPad for free. And you can also uh, get the resistant maps for every iPhone. So I'm not going to uh, measure all the pads. I'm going uh, only measure the important pads, but it's recommended to measure all the pads to uh, make sure that every pad is uh, have a resistant value and 
everything is okay and that uh, shorted ground. And also I'm going to fast forward uh, all the process. And uh, if everything is okay, we are going to uh, make a revolve for the new IC and uh, soldering back on the board. Okay guys, now uh, I skipped the uh, soldering part to make sure that this video will not be that long because it's a very common problem on the iPhone 7 and I will try to talk in this video more and I'm not writing anything down this video and now we are going to test our work as you can see uh, in the up it says no seam that means that uh, modem firmware is there I'm going to dial the star 06 as you can see the IME is there I'm not going to show you the IME but the device info is showing now we are going to test a SIM card to see if our work is 100% uh, working and done and uh, guys uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for for the contents uh, about this microsolding videos and like if this video was helpful we are not now we are going to test LTE is there I turned off the Wi-Fi to try the LTE and it's working it says LTE and it's done okay guys thanks for watching another video here's Antoine saying you peace out <music>